Hola, here to do a pick a card reading, guys. Today the question is, how do they feel about me? We're doing an energetic update. Once again, how do they feel about me? We will do an extended read where we will ask, is there still hope for us? What are they hiding from me? And we'll get some oracle message as well as taking a deeper dive into the overview. So keep in mind, guys, this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. Should it resonate with you, please like, share, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments, give me that thumbs up, because you too be tripping, tripping. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. If it doesn't fit, let it fly. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. Take the bits and pieces that do. Leave everything else on the dance floor and moonwalk your job ass on away from it. All right? If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all of my information is down below. I am currently booked into December. I uh, have a few openings left and then we go into January. That is for tarot card readings and magic rituals as well. Magic rituals right now are pushed off until January as I am booked up for most of December. If you'd like to book a life coaching session with me, the information for that is down below. I am a professional certified life coach, meaning I went to school to study the art of life coaching, Did, just didn't tack that title onto my name. I actually studied, had to write a paper, had to write a couple of papers, um, take a bunch of tests and everything. If you are interested in about 90% of the cards that I use on this channel, you can find an Amazon list down below where I've compiled the majority of the cards that I use. And if you'd like to donate any tarot cards, um, oracle cards, or crystals to the channel, my Amazon wish list is down below as well. So we have three choices before us. Choice number one is going to be Wonders. Choice number one is Wonders. Choice number two is stillness and choice number three is potential so we have wonders stillness and potential so on the count of three guys we are going to take our deep breath one two three pick your card is it going to be wonders? Is it going to be stillness? Or is it going to be potential? All right, let's go ahead and get started with wonders on our energetic update. And universe, people who chose wonders, how does their person feel about them? How does their person feel about them? People who chose wonders, how does that person feel about them? We have, if I can find it, we have temperance. How does their person feel about them? The people who chose wonders, how does their person feel about the universe? We have. High Priestess, people who chose wonders. How does that person feel about them, universe? How does that person feel about them? We have Four of Cups. <clears throat> people who chose wonders. How does that person feel about them, universe? And we have the Eight of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So, your person feels like you are hiding something from them. Um, I feel like your person, even though we don't have any sword cards up here, I do feel like your person is feeling like they don't know everything about you. It's almost as if your person is looking for something on you looking for a reason to stay away from you, looking for something to give them reason to walk away. Your person is desperately wanting to walk away from this situation completely um, because I do think that they are still thinking about you, but they haven't completely moved away. 
Um, I do feel that there is detachment here. I do feel that there's a lot of stubbornness here on both sides. I do feel that your person feels that they will be rejected by you because they've once rejected you if they come back around or if they come towards you. Um, your person feels that you are a very balanced person. Um, they feel that you are a very patient person. You've been very patient with them, but they do think that there are a lot of things that are shrouded in this connection. Um, and I feel like that's on both your parts. I feel like you think that they're holding something back from you. They're hiding something from you and you feel the same way about them. There is an awareness that is coming over you all. There is light that's coming over you all, but your person thinks that you have moved on to new opportunities and have completely left them behind. And so they want to do the same thing, which is why they are looking for reasons to fully walk away from you so that they have some type of closure, because I think that they're lacking closure on the actions that they've taken. And to a certain extent, your person wants to blame you for the reason that they walked away. That's why they're looking for things. They want to be able to say that it wasn't them. It was you. And I feel as though this all has to do with an overwhelming sense of love. I think that your person had a difficult time balancing their feelings for you, even understanding their feelings for you. Um, there was something about this love that was overwhelming to them in a way in which it, it, it consumed them. And there was a lot of starts and stops in this situation. They were in their head, even though you all were having, even in the beginning when you all were having good times, they were still in their head trying to make sense of this. They, they're trying to make sense of this. And that's the very reason that they can't. Because this doesn't need anyone to make sense of. It just needs to flow. And so your person feels that you've moved on to new opportunities. They feel that you... Um, are completely over how they behaved, how they treated you, the things that they did, the way that they went about things. I do feel that there's some aspect of ghosting here where your person has not spoken to you or has blocked you. And I also feel that your person wants to reach back out to you, but I feel that they stopped themselves from doing that. I feel that they may you know, either try to email you or send you a direct message or text you, but they stop themselves from doing that because they are terrified of rejection. And your person just wants to pack up everything that they feel for you and move on into some type of new beginning that they feel will stabilize them because they do feel destabilized in this particular situation, in this divine connection, in this love. In truth, I don't feel that you're hiding things. I feel like you may have held back your emotions because you started to see that your person was becoming overwhelmed by what they were feeling. I think that you were dimming your light. Um, and I feel like your person is aware of that too. So they're like, man, if my person was dimming their light, what, what more can I handle? Like this is already quite overwhelming for me and they seem to be able to thrive in this love why can't i your person is on a spiritual quest as well um but they feel like you're just tired of their shenanigans tired of their um games tired of being ghosted tired of being treated less than you are worth um tired of always being there for them they, they just, they just feel like you are completely done and that you have moved on into a new opportunity and, and really into happiness too, I'm feeling. And they haven't because they're still thinking about you, but they're so afraid of being rejected by you because they are very much aware of the actions that they have taken in this relationship. They are very much aware of how they have treated you in this relationship and it's easier for them to walk away than to come back to you because they'd have to fess up. So your person just feels like you've moved on. Moved on into a new opportunity. You finally focused on yourself. 
you're in search of love, that cup that was being rejected. And in truth, this was a situation that was a gift from the universe. The Four of Cups is the only other card in the tarot deck that depicts the hand of God offering something to the human figure. So this was definitely a gift. But because they didn't accept it, you tried. You tried your best and they're aware of that. But they just feel that you've moved on. You've grown tired of trying. There's no reciprocity here. They want to reach out. But even if they did reach out, they'd only tell you half of it. Mm -hmm. So that's what I have for you. That's how your person is feeling. Your person feels that you've moved on because you're over it. You're tired of them. You're tired of the games that they play. You're tired of being stagnant. You're tired of being stuck. You're tired of things being hidden. You're tired of not having transparency. Um, and you... you are moving on back into that balanced state of mind that you were in when you all first connected or reconnected. So we'll do an extended read on this. We'll take a deeper dive into the overview. We'll ask, is there still hope for us? We'll ask, what are they hiding from you? And we will also get Oracle messages on this situation. So if you'd like to join me, the link for that is down below. If not, you ain't gotta, but we gotta move, move, move. Move right out of my life. Move, move it. All right. So, universe, the people who chose stillness. The people who chose stillness. How does their person feel about them? Energetic update, universe. How does their person feel about them? The people who stole, stole. The people who chose stillness. We have the death card. How does that person feel about them? How does that person feel about them? The people who chose stillness. King of Cups. How does that person feel about them? Chariot. How does that person feel about them? The people who chose stillness. How does that person feel about them? People who chose stillness. How does that person feel about them? And the Six of Cups. If I can get it to focus. There we go. Six of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we do have the Seven of Cups and the Queen of Swords. So you all have... Your person feels that they've been in a period of stagnation because they have been going through um, a transformation of sorts that needed for them to be stuck. You know, there is a time for stillness and there's a time for movement. There's a time for action. But your person feels as though you at this point are very confused about this situation and are will reject them to an extent you're you're not as open to them as you once have been and your person is either coming out of or in the last phases and stages of this transformation your person has a lot of love for you they really do your person is in love with you they really are um, they're very much aware that this is a divine connection with the six of cups. Um, you all may have spent past lives together. I feel like in the beginning, you all spent a lot of time together where you would lose all track of time. You spent a lot of nights together, spent a lot of nights together under the stars, talking under the stars, sharing of yourself under the stars. You know that swan, swans are monogamous creatures. Um, and the masculines in the swan family are very caring, very tender, very loving. And I feel like your person was hiding that from you. And they, they feel that you are very much aware of that. Your person feels like you know that they love you, even though they haven't outwardly 
uh, expressed that or spoken that to you, they feel that you know that they love you, but you, your person also feels that you know that they're very confused and afraid by this connection and afraid of what they feel for you. Your person, um, you and your person are, are psychic, uh, strong intuitions. Third eye hums a lot. Um, you all can tap into one another. You have a telepathic bond to one another, um, a strong connection and a desire to be with one another. Your person, they feel all of this about you. Everything that you feel for your person, they feel about you. There's just a lot of confusion in this situation because your person doesn't know what to offer you. And because they have... Um, denied you for so long of any type of offerings, you have grown cold to an extent. Um, you both are hiding your true nature, your true feelings for one another because this queen of swords and that king of cups has their back to us. So you both to an extent have been wearing facades. So Again, how you feel is how your person feels. You feel that they have been blocking you. They haven't been transparent with you. They haven't expressed their true feelings. And they feel that you have grown cold. You haven't expressed your true feelings and you haven't been transparent. And so to an extent, you, you all have been moving in different directions because you both have wanted to control this situation. But the universe keeps stepping in here. Um, with that death card and that chariot card, it's like you all want uh, a victory in this connection. You want to bring it together, but the way in which you all are going about it is in two different ways. Both of those ways will lead to the same result, but uh, it's a push and pull. It's, it's like you're playing tug of war with your heart right now. And so I think there needed to be a moment of pause to wrap your heads around this particular connection and to get clear about things once and for all because there is so much confusion because there's been so much um, analytical energy. There's been where you all have been trying to make sense of something that needs to just flow. Your person is just wondering about you and you both are looking out into the future wondering how this will come back together or how this can be even there could be distance between both of you like you may live in separate cities or just at a distance from one another either way there is distance because neither of you are facing us and so you both are hiding something whether it's your feelings the way you you think um what you want to do the actions you want to take the transformation that you've been going through. And this connection was brought into both of your spheres in order to bring about a sense of transformation, that uh, a, a sense of growth that you both needed to ascertain, to embrace. Mm -hmm. So your person feels that if they move towards you now in this connection, that you will, there's a possibility that you would reject them. And they, they feel that they have to come to you in truth. They can't play any more games if they come to you because you, you will cut them off immediately once the games start. You have no room for the shenanigans in your heart right now. You, you're tired. Your person feels that you're tired because... <clears throat> Excuse me, before you became that queen of swords, your heart was warm. And you all were headed in the same direction. You were, there was a flow to this. But I do feel that there was a shakeup. And, you know, something happened in a situation to cause you to become the queen of swords. You know, something happened to cause you to become cold, to become calculated, to get out of your heart and to get more into your mind. And it's almost as if you guys are reversing because your person very well could have been the king of swords in the beginning. 
And you were the queen of cups. You were the one who was very loving, very nurturing, very um, intuitive, very heart filled um, and with your heart on your sleeve, but that didn't get you anywhere. And so that's where that moment of pause came from, you know, because you can't treat people like this. The universe comes and it's like you, you can't be cold to someone who's giving you their heart and think that everything's going to be all right. You will either lose that person or you will lose a piece of yourself and vice versa. And so your person really feels that they want to move towards you. They want to, they want to, they want that old thing back, but there's a lot of confusion between you and your person and they don't know exactly what to offer you and they don't know exactly what you will accept because they feel that you've turned cold. Mm -hmm. So we'll do an extended read on this. We'll take a deeper dive into the overview. We will ask, is there still hope for us? We will also ask what they're hiding from you and we will get some oracle messages on the situation. So if you'd like to join me, the link is down below, but if not, you ain't gotta, we moving. So people who have chosen reading number three, potential universe, how does their person feel about them? Please make these messages as clear as possible. We have the nine of wands. How does their person feel about them? How does that person feel about them? Eight of Cups. Man, ain't nobody playing in all three of these decks. The feminists are standing up for themselves. Nine of Pentacles. The feminists ain't taking no shit no more, man. Kudos to y'all. How does that person feel about them? The moon and the seven of swords at the bottom of the deck. So your person feels that you thought that there was a lot of potential for this connection. You were very resilient. You kept giving, you kept trying, you kept pushing, um, and you got worn out. You, your person feels that eventually you got tired of just seeing potential and no action behind that potential. Your person wasn't doing anything to live up to that potential. And to a certain extent, you, your expectations of your person were smothering this connection because what you were expecting them to be, um, the potential that you saw in them, that, that you, like you saw their higher self, you saw what they were capable of but they didn't see that and they still don't see it. <clears throat> and you grew weary. You grew tired of just seeing potential, of just holding on to potential, just having this idea of potential that for a while carried this, this feeling in your heart, carried you on. You know, you, you were in love with their potential, but they never ever were able to live up to that. They didn't even try. They didn't even try because they knew you were going to be there regardless until you weren't no more. And it's like you, your person feels that you ignited a fire within them, but they were unable to fuel that fire. And your person feels that you begin to build guards you were, you were still resilient. You still saw their potential. You still see their potential. But you begin to see yourself and you begin to see what being in love with potential was doing to you and how it was harming you and how it was hurting you and how your fire, your light within began to dim and how you were beginning to see shadows of yourself. You were beginning to drown in this potential in this love for this potential, wanting them to, you know, raise up. You were lifting them. You were pushing them up into the light. But they they were unable to maintain that level, that elevation. They, they were suffocating there because they weren't really doing the work to 
truly rise. You can't fool the universe, you know? You can fool a whole bunch of people, but not the universe. And so I believe that your person wanted to, but they didn't know how. And your person feels that you got tired of standing guard. You got tired of being resilient. You were being wounded in all of this. You were being hurt in all of this and you were drowning in this emotion and it turned from love to fear. And you got to the point where it was like, I can't do this anymore because I'm sacrificing myself for this person, not for this love. And you can't, you have to pour into your own cup there. It always has to be you first. It always, always, always has to be you first. You can't move anywhere. You can't do anything. You can't be anything for anyone. If you're not there for yourself first, not your children, not your family, not your job, nothing. You have to fill your own cup. And so you walked away to get back to yourself. You walked away to rebuild your self-worth and self-value, to remember who you truly were. You walked away to heal. There's still this overwhelming emotion for you, but your person is fully aware of the reasons why you walked away. They feel as though you are happier without them. You shine brighter without them. I do feel that your person is looking at you, spying on you, and they just feel as though you are doing better without them. But in truth, you are still healing and still longing and still loving them. But there still is a sense of fear because you and your person are very much the yin and the yang. There's a lot of differences between you all. And I think that those differences weren't celebrated. They were instead aggravated and used as reasons why you all should not be together. And so there's distance between you now, but you're, you're both still feeling the same way. And I think that your person is feeling like you snuck away. Like you just, you know, there wasn't a lot of fight. There wasn't a lot of chaos, confusion, or ruckus. You just went into your own little world and you detached because you chose yourself. Kudos to you, but you chose yourself in all of this because you were losing yourself in all of this. And it was time for you to get back. To, it was really long overdue. But you have now returned to yourself and you are steadily stripping back the layers to remember yourself, but you are still feeling that same way. But outwardly, you are projecting this confident, wealthy, abundant, nurturing, loving person. But you may cry yourself to sleep at night because you are still longing for them and you, you don't know why they just wouldn't do the work seemed easy enough for you, but for them, it wasn't. And they're like a volcano waiting to erupt. They, Your person holds a lot in and they are very much aware that you are aware of this. The fact that they, they held everything in, they feel as though that is exactly what wounded you because your person wasn't forthcoming with how they felt about you, where they wanted this to go, your person may not even have allowed this to really be seen as a commitment. This may have been something that was hidden. And all of, all of that, all of their actions really did a number on you. <clears throat> so you, you snuck away, you walked away to deal with your emotions yourself and to deal with yourself. And your person feels that about you, your person, but your person feels that you're better off without them so far so yeah so we'll do an extended read on this we'll take a deeper dive into the overview we'll ask if there's still hope for you uh we'll ask what they're hiding from you and we will get a bunch of oracle messages in regards to this situation so if you'd like to join me the link for that is down below if not you ain't gotta stay down y'all it's a marathon <laughs>